So today, I'm just cooking away today, but today I also want to try some garlic confit. But really what I want is my flavored oil to be like garlic. So I've watched a couple of videos and I am gonna try this. So they say to put your garlic in a pan, a pan you can cook in. So I'm gonna cover my pan like this with the garlic. I also want some lemon flavor. So I'm going to take some lemon rind without the white and I'm gonna put it in there with it. Okay. And then I like my, I really like the flavor of jalapeno. I like spicy. But the flavor of jalapeno, I think, is really, really good. So I'm gonna slice some of this jalapeno up and put it in here and uh, see what our oil comes out tasting like. Because I, oh, I think the garlic lemon jalapeno oil, ooh, ooh, I just, I just think that sounds yummy. So I'm gonna make slices kind of like this, this thick. I'm just gonna lay them right on top right there. Just like so. And what I read was, that you cover this with oil and you cook it for about 45 minutes on the top of the stove until your garlic turns kind of a roasted color. Um, and then you can use the garlic in the recipes, but now it's, this is where it gets tricky. And this is what makes me nervous, is you can't leave the garlic at room temperature because it can cause botulism. So after you do this, as soon as it cools enough, it needs to go in the refrigerator, the garlic. The oil is fine. I'm gonna strain the oil, put it in my oil bottle, mm, and then use it for frying, okay? So I think that's enough garlic in there. And I'm using grapeseed oil. That's my favorite oil. And if you wonder why I use grapeseed and not olive oil, because olive oil goes rancid way too quick for me. And I actually, I think olive oil has a taste and I don't care for the taste. Grapeseed oil, I don't taste any taste unless I just really like it. So I'm pouring that olive, the um, grapeseed oil over my garlic. I'm gonna do just what they said. They said to completely cover Now, I'm not going to salt this or anything because, uh, you know, when you cook, you salt. So, there we go. Let me put this lead back on here. If I would spill this, that would just upset my whole day. Okay, I'm going to put it on my stove top. Okay, I moved burners because this is the smaller burner on my stove. And they said to cook it at a uh, low and slow for about 45 minutes. So after about 45 minutes, I'll come back, or maybe I'll come back halfway through and show you. Okay. I can see the color starting to change. I just tasted a clove of garlic on a Triscuit. Very good, very, very good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip out my garlic I'm gonna drain the oil off of it. And I'm gonna put it straight in this pan. Tonight, I am going to just take this with my homemade sauce and uh, make us some spaghetti sauce with a lot of garlic. You know, there's so many health benefits to garlic. So, so, so many. And I have never really cooked with it really, really a lot. But I am going to start incorporating garlic in our, on our meals much, much more. Because it is so, so flavorful. All right. That's the last two garlics. And so we'll set this over here. We'll set this aside. And then... I have my container 
that I want to put my oil in. And then if you've ever seen these, these are the most handiest uh, funnels. I love those funnels. And I had a strainer. Here it is, way over here. Okay. And so I'm going to put my strainer in there. And I'm going to try. Okay, so I strained that. I did make quite the mess. I'm not going to lie. I had it all over. <laughs> I need to figure out a better way to do that. But there's my oil. It looks beautiful. And it tastes wonderful. So give that a try. And I have my garlic in there. Ready to put in. I have canned hamburger. And I have my sauce I did that I canned. And so I'm going to add that in there. And that is going to be our meal for tonight. Spaghetti sauce. So there you have it. You have garlic, extra garlic. You want to buy garlic and make some yummy oil and yummy dinner? Go for it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.